Hello, my friends out there. Hi, salut, allo, hola. Let us explain our thoughts behind the GAL project in short. Curious? So, some animals have a great life, really. Most of the animals don't, really don't. Let me present our idea how to give a better life for those animals. The key for that lies in the law. Indeed, it's a useful tool. With our new GAL project on globalanimallaw.org, we collect globally the laws that are animal-friendly and propose better ones. The key of our project is the matrix on our new website. The matrix contains our proposals how to change the laws for a better life for animals, from local to global, from short-term to visionary, even utopian. We want to make these proposals known and discussed globally and to be used by all of the millions of people who want to make a change for animals. Everyone is invited to participate in the discussion by submitting proposals for realistic and even utopian steps ahead. The best proposals will help to upgrade the matrix and to keep it actual and flexible. GAL.org is also for you. Go for it now. This is Roxy, a dog. As a companion animal, Roxy and the other dogs, cats and hundreds of millions of companion animals have the best potential to have a good life. The owners often love them, but sad enough, a lack of movement, social contact, hygiene, space and damages from dubious breeding, as well as cruel methods to get rid of the animals, is spread worldwide. This is Piggly, a sow. As a farm animal, it is likely that she spends her short life in cruel conditions. Only few of them have better housing, transport and slaughtering conditions. Most of them, globally speaking, have not. And the statistics tell us that more people want to eat dramatically more meat. Speedy, a horse for sports. Most of the animals in sports at least have movement enough. But some training methods are very traditional, not to say medieval. Transports are very long, and when not trained or in action, a lot of those animals get bored and neglected. My C is a mouse for testing. Is she happy to serve for humankind? Often in small cages, bored or stressed, and intentionally put to suffer within the testing frame, as a public issue, more or less forgotten, but still one of the big animal topics. Bambi is our wild roe deer and stands for wild animals. At least, as one might think in the wild and free of stress, with a death in dignity as often remarked. The daily life within smaller and more and more polluted places in the wild, also in the sea and lakes for fish, is often stressful. The hunting does not always lead to sudden death. Far too often animals are injured but escape and they await a slow and painful death. In life, in zoos and circuses, is really not la vie en rose. What our big five, as we call them, have in common? They understand each other quite well. But we humans too often do not understand the animal's language. The animal's all depend on the helping hands and hearts of us humans. For that we should understand their needs much better. To be kind to animals and to know their needs is good, but not sufficient. A lot of the animals live in the dark or at least out of our personal reach. They belong in the boat of law and society as well. Too often they are neglected and what is the saying? Out of sight? Out of mind, wasn't it? People use or abuse animals for money, habit, negligence or fun. They say they have their ethics and animal lovers have other ones. Animals are interested in a good life. If financial interests of the animal users are too big, we understand it to be a duty of the state to take care of the animal's interests. The state has to balance out the fundamental human rights to make money with farm animals and testing, to be personally free, I think of sports, hunting and fishing, and to practice religion, I think of ritual slaughtering, with the animal interests. 
Animals can suffer, can enjoy, and ethically, their interests cannot be neglected. Animals matter. We need a better balance between human rights and animals' interests. Animal issues belong in the constitutions. Let's make strong animal laws. For that, you need a majority in parliament and society, so moving hearts and minds is needed. We must be able to show what worked well for the animals elsewhere. This is the reason why we also have the one and only actual and reliable database on animal legislation worldwide on our site as well. Animals need a voice before court. Make laws and not only wishing lists, so that the laws must be enforced. Our friends Roxy, Piggly, Speedy, Micey and Bambi need someone who can represent them against the street red court or the administration. An animal attorney, an animal organization, an appointed person by the state, like the state's veterinary, what works and how and where, Gal gives the answer. Of course, we must protect animals against suffering. Jeremy Bentham, the philosopher, fought for that decades ago. Whereas the Danish philosopher Laurit Smith went further, he stood for the dignity of the creature, for the inherent value of an animal. After that, the animal is freed from unnecessary suffering and he thought that in 1789. What would have happened if this position would have been taken over, not Bentham's? Would the world have more respect towards animals? I think yes. At least the animals deserve that the world knows where the dignity of creature is protected by constitution or law, or where the intrinsic value of animals is legally acknowledged. Which legal concepts are effective? And where? What about granting personhood to animals or giving up property rights or animals or conceding fundamental rights to animals? And at least animals are sentient beings and to be treated as a third category in the law between humans and objects. Let us give place for those proposals in a timeline what seems utopian for the moment might turn into visionary or even modern soon. As Oscar Wilde said, progress is the realization of utopias. A lasting of what is desirable for the animals in the law is urgently needed. And to put several of them in a timeline is courageous, but may be helpful to make a better future. This is what we are proposing to do through the GAL project, and you can participate. With our common GAL project on globalanimallaw.org, we want to achieve the sharing of knowledge and best practice, also in analyzing the usefulness of different legal concepts and creating new efficient ones. As animal lawyers and lovers, are often isolated around the world, we would like to reunite everyone's ideas and ideals in order to think all together in a collaborative and friendly way for creating a better world for the other animals. As Alan Kay said, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. Freedom, equality and fraternalism are terms known from the French Revolution more than 200 years ago. What are they here of importance? Because our big five friends often dream of freedom, and we humans are, mostly, have the freedom of speech and thoughts. We and the animals need the expertise and the warm-hearted creativity from us all. The equality? Because every person, be it a law student, attorney or law professor, animal lover, is very welcome to participate on the same range. Theoria compraxi, uh, Professor Leibniz wrote in 1700, all science must lead to a benefit. Our project is in a modern sense scientific because based on facts, objective at its best and must lead to a benefit, a benefit for the animals globally. 
Help us to make our friends Roxy, Piggly, Speedy, Mice and Bambi, or at least their offspring, be happy again and to have a better life in dignity. Who are we? I am an international animal law and ethics consultant, author, formal efficient animal attorney in Switzerland, in the canton of Zurich, and in the field for 30 years, animal expert for the animal in the law and ethics. Together with the French jurist Sabine Brels, specialized in international animal law, we created the global animallaw.org website as a global platform to exchange ideals and ideas and to make proposals to improve the laws protecting our animal friends in the world. Please support our Common Gal project. You can do so by working with our proposals, by participating with better ones as dolphins, by collecting funds for the GAL project as a squirrel, and by promoting the project wherever you can. GAL stands for a modern and juicy and fruity approach towards a new attitude to animals in the law and in society, not only where you just live and go voting, but worldwide, globally. Our friends Roxy, Piggly, Speedy, Micey and Bambi, and of course Sabine, give a big hug to you all. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Salut. Tschüss. Adios.